Hey guys, it's summer. I'm back with the developer diary of the day. Rob's found me another awesome Made in Godot game. Primal Planet is a gorgeous pixel art Dinovania, and Albert is the solo dev caveman behind the project. Albert has been making games for himself and other studios for over 10 years, coming from the good old Flash days. Primal Planet will be his first full Steam release. Have you ever wished for a certain kind of game and wondered why it hasn't been made yet? That's exactly what happened to Albert with Primal Planet. Rewinding back to a few years ago when he was rewatching Jurassic Park for the first time since he was a kid, the nostalgia hit hard, reigniting his childhood love for dinosaurs. Growing up in South Africa, Albert was surrounded by breathtaking nature and wildlife which left a lasting impression. Combining this with his love for Metroidvanias, the idea for Primal Planet was born, a game where you could immerse yourself in a world full of dinosaurs. Albert's vision for Primal Planet was clear. Create a Metroidvania where the environment feels alive. Not just obstacles to overcome, but a world where creatures interact with each other. Predators hunt, prey, and flee. Inspired by the conceptual depth of games like Rain World, he aimed to craft a dynamic ecosystem that keeps players on their toes. Primal Planet is a story about the bonds of family and how far one would go to save loved ones, while also reflecting modern society issues. But above all else, it is meant to be an entertaining and action-packed adventure on a dinosaur planet. Albert described the development process as amazing, awful, wonderfully fun, everything. He is no exception to the pressures and amount of work solo developers go through to make a game. Saying that solo developers have huge workloads is an understatement. He experimented with a few game engines at first, but ultimately landed on Godot. It's free, open source, and does exactly what he needs to accomplish for Primal Planet. Albert loves Godot, and we do too, over here at Game Dev Journey. His advice to fellow devs is not to get too sucked into your dream game. Remember that the other things in life are actually more important. Giving them proper time, attention, and care will not only improve one's mental, mental state and life in general, but will also enhance the quality of the game and overall motivation. Many thanks to Albert for today's Dev Diary, and thanks to all of you for watching. I will see you next time in another Developer Diary of the Day.